All right, this is your man, Chris Powell, a.k.a. Couch Coach. Couch Coach Live presents Spider Bite, episode eight here. And we are here once again, another weekly edition here of Spider Bites, where we'll give you bite-sized content uh, pertaining to the University of Richmond football. This week, we'll be talking about the University of Richmond matchup versus the Bryant Bulldogs. So the Spiders will be heading up north to Rhode Island for a high noon kickoff this Saturday, October 26th. So in this episode, we'll talk about the matchup versus Bryant. We'll kind of go back to last Saturday's game where the Spiders won 28-19 over um, Delaware. Uh, we'll talk about some stuff some stuff prior to this game. We'll have some news and notes, mm-hmm. my thoughts of um, um, Coach Rush Hughes' press conference. Um, also some key players to watch in the matchup against Bryant, and then also some keys, some key players to watch in this matchup for for the Spiders as well, and then my keys for a Spider victory. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna kick the intro, and we'll be right back here and start episode eight of Spider Bite. Yes, and we like that. Once again, we are here on Spider Bites, Episode 8. And, you know, we're here. So, first off, let's talk about just this matchup in the beginning. Obviously, uh, the Richard Spiders versus the Bryant Bulldogs um, of Rhode Island. So, uh, we're talking about um, the Spiders heading north to Rhode Island. So, Spiders coming to this matchup 5-2 uh, and two on the season and 3-0 and oh in the CAA. Uh, while the Bryant Bulldogs come into this matchup 2-5 and five and 0-3 and in the CAA. Um, so pretty much almost like a role reversal for both of these teams where they're going in different directions. Um, so the Spiders coming into this week, they are 13th in the ACA, pardon me, AFCA, FCS poll. And then they're ranked 18th in the stats perform FCS uh, rankings. So um, interesting placing of it, especially since in fact the win over uh, uh, a convincing win over Delaware. But hey, that's, that's you know, that it is what it is. But uh, kind of going back to last Saturday's game, definitely uh, was a great game for the Spiders uh, as we uh, were there um, at Robin Stadium last week where you looked at the Spiders pretty much was clicking on all cylinders, essentially in that first half, where I think in the, in the first drive, it went for a punt, and then they went four consecutive scoring drives. Um, and funny that when we talked about the matchup last Thursday, kind of one of those keys, keys or something to kind of watch for going into the Delaware game was essentially the past game had to improve. And obviously, uh, it, 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 you know, the past game improved dramatically. You looked at uh, Cam Coleman um, had two touchdowns on the um, on the afternoon. He had uh, 100 and almost nearly 200 yards passing. I think he had 194. If my memory serves correct, um, got Nick um, got Nick DeGenero going. He scored a touchdown in that game, and then uh, Robert, the tight end, got it, got a touchdown as well. So you see that, and then even. And I know we talked about as far as Cam's ability to run compared to the back of quarterback in Cal Wickersham, where we looked at Cal had the advantage, but now you're seeing Cam got a got a little got a little scrambling ability. He led the team in rushing last week with uh, 79 rush yards. So um, he, so the Spiders kind of had a little bit of versatility in that one, and also coupled with that, uh, just a great stout defensive effort. Uh, on, on um, you know, forcing two turnovers. So very balanced effort for this uh, Spider team. And now uh, you turn the page now as you hit the road and face Bryant. Um, this is going to be a definitely interesting game for, for the Spiders. And I know uh, Coach Hughesman talked about it in the presser um, yesterday. Essentially just them coming out in this in this game, especially considering the fact the high of the Delaware win, 
um, how will they perform in the sense that the attention detail and everything that comes kind of with it and, you know, and, and almost essentially uh, being able to be disciplined to kind of, you know, you know, essentially play against a team where, as I mentioned earlier, both are going in different directions. So it's kind of almost like a trading, trading places type of matchup where there are other ends of the spectrum. So it's definitely going to be curious how this spider team will come out. And like, you, and like they said, and like you said in the press, where we're going to really learn a lot about this spiders team on Saturday at high noon um, when they, when they play on Saturday. So, the players will watch for the Bryant Bulldogs. So you have uh, they have a linebacker by the name of Cole Nows, and he is on the FCS Jerry Rice Award watch list. Um, he leads the Bulldogs with 43 tackles. Um, he's led the team in tackles in three games this season. Um, you had a guy last week who broke a record, and uh, Elijah Williams. Um, he had 279 return yards, including an 86 yard. Uh, kick return um, last week in the loss to Mammoth. Uh, you also have a, a good wide receiver there called name not called but name uh, Landon uh, Regary. Um, he had forty recept he has forty receptions on the season, uh, six hundred ninety four yards and, and nine touchdowns on the season. Um, he is currently the third all time leader in receiving yards for in Bryant's history. So. Those kind of some guys to watch in this in this matchup against Bryant. And fast forward to the uh, Richard Spiders. Um, literally, we can have a laundry list to kind of watch um, for the Spiders team, but we kind of limit it um, to a, to a really fine short list. Obviously, um, you look at consider the fact the play of last week of Cam Coleman. I think yet again he's going to have another performance. Somebody that you can watch for in this game, like I mentioned a little earlier. Um, he led the team essentially uh, in, in in passing and rushing last week. Um, that to kind of go over the stats in a sense, but um, I think he could potentially have another game almost early similar to this, and it, and it might be better. So I definitely think he'll uh, have a great game. I think kind of one of the bigger the the big beneficiaries. I think if Cam Coleman is to have a great game, I look no further than the wide receiver core, Nick DeGeneres. Like we talked about last week, he scored. It's, it's another potential where I think he's starting to kind of get his groove back. And now I think you can start, you know, you can see some, see a, I can see a situation where essentially Nick can kind of go up on a tear and just and ball out in this, in this performance. Um, you look at uh, JV on uh, Griffin, I think he could do it. Jerry Garcia Jr. Um, and then also Landon Evans. I think those four guys could potentially have. Um, big numbers. I can I can envision maybe potentially uh, two out two out the four guys could be, could could have uh, triple digit receiving yards, so multiple touchdowns. I think in that sense. And they also, even though they, you know, what's essentially been the calling card before the Delaware game, we can't shake off the the running back uh, room is where there as well. So Zach Palmer Smith, I think he's going to have a great game as well. And then also with uh, Andrew King as well, the true freshman. So um, those are kind of some guys offensively that I think are going to essentially have a big game uh, or or and or have a tremendous impact in this game um, for for the Spiders. So I definitely think this is going to be a situation where you're going to see uh, guys, especially I think like I talked about it from the re- receiver core, triple triple digit receiving yards. Multiple touchdowns, particularly in this game, I, I would say maybe two out of the four may may get to that. It's it's I think it's I think they have that legitimate possibility. What I seen last week, kind of, can they kind of add to that momentum from last week? So it could definitely potentially happen. So uh, defensively, um, it's so many guys on this get on this where we that just steps that steps up week in and week out. Uh, as we talked about him in the post game last week, uh, we definitely have to give a huge shout out to Camden Bird, um, the uh, Patrick Henry standout, uh, one and a half sacks last week. Definitely think he's another one that momentum. And it's funny when we kind of mention guys like like a, like a Jabril Hayes. Like I remember we talked talked about him a few episodes ago. 
um, when he made a pick six. And then it seems like week in and week out, he has made play after play after play. And the same thing goes in this game, in the, in the game against Delaware, where he had that forced fumble. And also um, with Jeremy Hodges, I mean, not Jeremy, but um, <laughs> Jamal Hodges, the Petersburg product, who essentially forced that fumble and then obviously was recovered by Jabril Hayes. So um, Jabril Hayes, another one that continue to make plays week in and week out. It'd be someone to kind of watch and be the focal point in this uh, defense as well, uh, especially considering the fact how this team has been in, in this five-game win streak, essentially uh, playing complementary football on both ends where you have, you know, one week you have the, the running game going strong. I know what's uh, – Right before the bye against a t Lilla had Palmer Smith, and you also had um, Andrew King going to bat for 300 yards. And then fast forward, following the bye, you essentially had um, pretty much Cam Coleman uh, pretty much running the show and doing this thing offensively for this team. So, and then obviously defensively, as we talked about it, getting those turnovers, guys just making plays, and, 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 and essentially – get to the quarterback, making plays, and, and essentially, um, you know, winning the turnover battle. Almost early similar to kind of how, how things happened last year, and now you kind of see that kind of come back into fruition in these last uh, – in this, in this five-game win streak. So I definitely think those kind of be some, some players to watch in this um, in this matchup against Bryant. And the keys for a Richard Spider's victory, I think it's – Literally been the same thing in in the last six weeks that we kind of discussed uh, as far as keys for a Spiders win. I mean, you definitely think um, the the offense just just have a little bit to spread the wealth. Like I like I said earlier, I think if you you know you have a a great attack on both ends where hey you get the, you know you know potentially get the running game going that may lead to the pass or vice versa whatever leads first and it opens up an opportunity for you know, the running backs or open up opportunity for uh, the wide receivers and the tight ends potentially. And defensively, I think once again, you get pressure. I think another one, I mean, that's, you know, they get the pressure and then that could potentially lead to turnovers. I mean, after you look at that defensive line, as we talked about a few of those guys, um, you know, as far as uh, Jamal Hodges, um, you know, Candid Boyd, um, you know, obviously then you think of guys like obviously – like, you know, Wayne Galloway, and also um, it, just, it just pretty much all in all kind of coming together and essentially, you know, having an opportunity to to win games, and they've been doing this in, this, in the last five games. So, um, yeah, so I definitely think those are kind of the keys. Those are the keys for a Spider victory. And, um, yeah, so – Definitely looking forward to this matchup on Saturday at high noon. So this wraps up episode eight of Spider Fight. We'll be back next week uh, for a Halloween edition, episode nine, as we get ready for the Spiders to return home for homecoming um, as they face Townsend. And we'll be back here on Thursday, October 31st, the Halloween edition of Spider Bite. We'll catch you guys next Thursday. And maybe I, I'll pop up with a, with a costume. We shall see. You know. Until next time, we'll catch you guys next week.